Tuberculosis is estimated to kill 1.7 million people every year. It's recognised as the highest infectious disease killer in the world, ahead of HIV and malaria, and it primarily targets the most vulnerable people in society. What is quite clear with MDR-TB is that uh, sometimes the, the treatment itself is, is worse than the, um, the disease. We were faced um, with the challenges that our patients were having. We recognised how difficult it was for them um, to go through the treatment. The outcomes were, were not acceptable, so only one in two patients uh, were cured. We felt that we, we needed to do something. As the world's largest provider of non-governmental TB care, MSF is well placed to run TB Practical. The Phase 2, Phase 3 clinical trial aims to radically improve treatment for TB patients with less toxic treatment over a shorter period of time, using more effective regimens. Trial sites have been established, working in conjunction with national health ministries and national TB programs in Uzbekistan, Belarus and South Africa. Working with MSF is a unique experience because it enables the investigation of the new drugs in a combination. There are three new drugs for TB, the bedaquilin, the laminid and the protonamid. TB is a very, very complicated disease and we must use a cocktail of drugs. So just having one new drug on the market, you know, the questions remain, how are you going to use it? You know, in combination with what? And uh, so this is where an organization like MSF steps in and, and gives unbelievable value towards the public good. MDR affected me so badly. The, the side effects for changing of skin, uh, losing weight, it affected me because uh, it made me feel like I'm nothing in life. My name's Louisa Dunn. I'm a sub-investigator on the practical trial. I am involved in meeting patients when they're first diagnosed with multi-drug resistant TB. Um, so we meet with them and see whether they're sort of suitable um, to join the trial. We call that pre-screening. If that's all fine, then we go ahead with sort of screening assessments of patients where we find out a lot more about them and do sort of various um, sort of simple tests to see whether there's any problems with them joining the trial. Um, and if that goes well, then we enrol onto the trial, um, treat the patients with their trial regimens. Our participants, they enjoy the fact that our treatment doesn't have injections. Everybody is scared of the injection. They are also happy because this treatment is very short. It is six months. It used to be 18 and above. It was depending on patient's uh, recovery. As well as offering trial regimens, TB Practical also carries out public outreach work to educate local communities on tuberculosis and how to seek effective treatment. With TB Practical, when I came here, I had this problem of, me, of not understanding this resistant TB. So they sat down with me, they explained, and they gave me some papers to go home and, and read, try so that I will get to understand it's better if we get the treatment for six months. Because the longer it gets, those pills are not, they're not, they're not nice. If successful, this combination of treatments could save the lives of hundreds of thousands of people with drug-resistant TB. MSF will call upon world health leaders to ensure that as many patients as possible can benefit. The reality is pharmaceutical companies uh, have tended to develop individual drugs um, and not move to the next step of developing regimens, which is, which is absolutely needed to be able to treat TB and MDR-TB. We haven't had new drugs for TB for the past 50 years, and now suddenly we have three. And so, you know, if we don't get it right now, we might lose them very quickly, and then all of this work to put into it might have been in vain, and we do not want that. <laughs>